Hello, welcome to ESA Parabolic Flight Campaign 79. My name is Neil. I just want to give you a little bit of a tour and show you the experiments that we're looking at. Uh, so, first off, here we have an experiment looking at uh, wound healing with biomimetic materials, trying to see how zero gravity may affect um, the way our wounds heal in space. It's going to be very important for, for long term space flight. Uh, these guys are looking at emulsions, so, like, Imagine a mixture of oil and water, of course, in gravity, they separate into different layers. Um, but in zero gravity, that doesn't happen. They stay all mixed up, and there's some strange and unusual interactions between the, the, the bubbles, um, which is very interesting for industrial processes and chemistry once we get up into orbits. That's what they're researching. Um, these guys drop coalescence. It's kind of related, but instead of trying to keep the uh, oil droplets apart, they're trying to make the oil droplets um, coalesce together and the dynamics there is pretty cool and it's a precursor to an experiment that's going to fly on the International Space Station. Up on the space station we've got a lot of electronics, they have a lot of, uh, generate a lot of heat that we need to get rid of and that works very differently when we haven't got convection. So we use things like heat pipes um, and this is a, a technology that's uh, novel and being uh, tested and demonstrated for future applications like that. Then we come to an important part of the plane. This is the, these are the educational experiments from ESA Academy. I love this stuff because I started um, my career just like this as a student on these parabolic flights. We have these guys testing some autonomous docking between two small CubeSats, and these guys looking at uh, glucose uptake and uh, how that's changed um, across cell membranes in zero gravity. Uh, we have lots of biomedical type experiments. Um, and on the ISS, it's important to take measurements and sometimes we need to test new devices. So this experiment is looking at a device to measure uh, stroke volume, your heart output with each beat to make sure that uh, it's, it works properly in zero G so they can take it up to the space station for astronauts to use. We find even that um, astronauts' cognition changes uh, in zero gravity. Um, and that's what we're studying here, looking at the, the, the relationship between the blood flow um, as we go from hypergravity to zero and how that changes the way the brain works. It even seems for short term zero gravity, we get smarter, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a big space here that would have an experiment in it, but they're all human test subjects. Um, so they're, they're looking at the way their senses change, olfactory responses, all of these different ways the human body can react, um, including emotional responses with surveys and things. That's a very important experiment to understand the human condition. Uh, over here is back to heat transfer stuff, evaporation technology. Um, to, to cool electronics and to be used in future applications. And believe it or not, this one is on astronomy. Uh, they have uh, clouds of dust grains floating around, scattering light through them, so we can recognize what those patterns look like when we check up in the night sky. So that's the little tour. We're ready to fly again tomorrow. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.